Greetings and salutations, my dear audience. This is Joe St. Egg Benedictus just coming at you with a quick video regarding a gift that I received from a family member. It is a board game I want to check out. I thought I'd unbox it with you to see how this goes. Just want to give a shout out to my pal Mike and to all of the visionaries and mystics out there tuning in. I want to thank you for checking this out. So, in the mail, the other day, this is the game I have received. My family and I are big gamers, and so we're excited about jumping into this, and I was about to crack it open when my wife said, wait, why don't you make a video out of it to see what other people think? And as far as I know, I did some research, and I did not find any other YouTube videos on this. I mean, I only looked for about three minutes, but nothing came up, so I thought, hey, why not? We'll unbox it together, see what it comes with. This proves to be an adventure board game, an heirloom game, based on six heroes from the Bible and the trials that they faced. When I was a little boy, we used to have a Bible game with my parents, and we used to play it all the time. I was very small, so I never understood it. All I remember was that it was really scary because this particular board game had the seven deadly sins, and if you got something wrong, you went to hell. That's all I remember about that board game. So uh, a few years ago, I did find it in a Goodwill and decided not to purchase because I did not want to scare my kids with the images that it has. So let's see. Open it up here. It's pretty tight. Let's see. All right. Apparently, you have to open it perfectly. Play as Moses, David, Abraham, Noah, Joseph, or Joshua against the backdrop of biblical authenticity. Well, I reckon that with a game, you can't really get that authentic. But we'll see what happens. So here is the, I uh, assume, the uh, rules. Looks like there are two of these. Rules of play and adventure guide. Doesn't look too complicated, but it looks like a formidable role playing type game. Similar to probably Villainous or to maybe Dungeons and Dragons. Dare I not say that on a uh, channel where people of faith might be watching, but that's what it looks like. Board is similar to a Monopoly game, looks like. Let me see if I can open this. So we have various sites in the Bible, Jerusalem, Goliath, and characters and creatures and various things like that, like Ramses. We have Eden over here, which must be the start. Jerusalem, would that be jail and Ramses on the adjacent corner? Be go to jail free. Where you go to jail, do not pass go. I don't know. I'll make some sense of it. Who knows? <clears throat> Looks like there are various playing cards. Oh, these are the characters. Okay. It's a very uh, European David. Joseph from Africa. Does not look African. But that's okay. Abraham, it's a little bit better. He looks a bit Middle Eastern. Noah, with that crazy bald head. Joshua, very stately. And Moses. Boy, if you didn't know the Bible well enough, you'd think that it was uh, full of a bunch of white old guys. <clears throat> These are the characters. Looks like six pewter pieces. It's pretty cool, actually. The pewter pieces alone might be worth the ticket for entry. Let me see. Looks pretty neat. While we open this up, I want to wish you a happy holiday. Hope you and your family are 
having fun this holiday. All right, so these are various playing pieces. That looks like made in China. This also looks like Joseph, maybe, made in China. Oh, they're right there, David, Joseph, Yeshua. He has some kind of sword in his hand, all right. Oh, that's pretty cool. That is pretty neat. That's Abraham. So far, he's my favorite. you think this was Abraham with the commandments, but that is Moses. Oh, yeah, that's right, Moses. Show you how good of a scholar I am of the Bible. Noah, with his very long golf club. See that? It's pretty neat. Let's see here. Open these cards up, see what they do. I discovered unboxing videos about a year and a half ago, and I thought, really? People watch videos of other people unboxing things? Turns out it's pretty exciting. We have various weapons, sword, staff, shield, and you can see there are various player instructions, gain one, life. You may discard this item at any time. You would lose a heart, or it looks like a Mickey Mouse ear, to not lose any. To not lose any. They need a good grammarian. That's a split infinitive, people. Come on, proofread your games. Ten Commandments, Ark of the Covenant, Joseph's Robe, Mana, Armor. That's pretty. It actually looks pretty cool. Harp, Shofar. When uh, the hurricane was coming this way, we live in a coastal town. I went to the beach the day before the hurricane because it's always good to see the waves. If the hurricane isn't that threatening, we didn't have to leave or evacuate. And there was a lady playing a shofar on the beach, I'm assuming to try to blow the hurricane away with some divine noise. Uh, apparently it worked, because we didn't get hit here, but not so with, the, uh, with other people who are directly in the storm's path. Which I encourage you to give and uh, to your local Salvation Army or uh, your local church that's doing things in the Bahamas. Or other non-profit organization. Plague of Frogs. Choose a player. The player loses one. Heh. <laughs> Always good to compete with the Bible game. Plague of Hail. Feasting with the enemy. We don't have the firstborn. I want to throw down a... Take another firstborn, you know. It's like the ace in the deck. But it's pretty neat. Entering the Promised Land. Blinding the Aramaeans. I like that. Blind. Ah, the lion's den. The ultimate test. Nothing like God asking for someone to give up their son. A lot of debate about that text. Jealousy. Midianites. King Saul. Going crazy while David plays the harp. Haman. This is from the book of Esther. Esther, I believe, is celebrated in the Jewish uh, faith on Purim. And they read the scroll of Esther, and every time, in my understanding, in some synagogues, every time the name Haman or Haman is read, you take a shot. But, hey, that's, uh, that's what I heard. I might be wrong. Take a shot of what? I don't know. Ask your local rabbi. The 800? As in, I don't know. So pretty neat. So those are the playing cards. And then we have these... Player chips, four colors, red, white, green, blue. Uh, looks like they there are a very minimal amount of blue, but we'll see what happens. Dice, six dice, and according to the box, 30 keys. Looks like they're pewter keys. They're not plastic, so that's pretty cool. Well... That is all for the game Champions of Faith. 
We'll play it down the road. I won't bore you with uh, having you watch a game be played. This video is going on long enough. And I uh, hope you had fun. Make sure to subscribe, check out things, the other videos, when we check out vintage Bibles, books, used books, oddities, and all kinds of other fun stuff that I hope you enjoy. Later!